Hello ladies and gentlemen and boys and girls This is Shane and you're watching Coffee Shane TV Whenever we eat or whenever we drink with someone We often ask how's the taste? They usually answer like ice good, ice bad And then they just try to describe like how good it is or how bad it is So for example if it's good if you like have something like chicken like this and it's seasoned, right? And then they say like, um, it's quite crispy, a bit spicy, but it's sweet as well. Mm, um, the chicken taste is really nice, and it's quite tender because it's rough stick, not the breast part, so it has some fat on there, so it's quite soft, easy to chew it, and it's really well seasoned. Something like this, right? They just describe about the taste. But let's think about it. Is it really taste? Yes, that's taste. It's come on like word for describing about the uh, food, right? If we speak like strictly, if I speak strictly, is it really taste? That's the thing. For example, if you like eat fruit like this, it's quite fruity, right? If you drink juice and it's quite fruity, even when you drink coffee, if you feel like fruity things in there, it tastes fruity, right? <sighs> Let's think about it. Is it right? Strictly speaking. So that's the thing. That's the thing. Taste. When you say taste, it's the taste you can feel on your tongue. Uh, it's quite salty. My finger is quite salty. That's the taste. Strictly speaking. Not like common sense. So for example, like fruit, something like this. Mm. The taste of this grape is sour and sweet. And the aroma of this is grape and nut. Almond. Taste of this almond is a bit sweet. Yeah, I can feel that. And the smell is like nutty. It's like almond smell kind of thing. All right. So taste is strictly speaking the feeling that you can feel on your tongue, especially especially on our taste cell. It only has like five different types: sweetness, sourness, bitterness, saltiness, and then umami, which is the savory taste but it's really hard to actually distinguish the umami so i'll just remove this let's talk about just sweetness sourness bitterness saltiness but we often describe with different words right when i have this one if somebody asks how to taste i will commonly say it's sour and sweet it has great like grape aroma right so the aroma is from here right you can feel from the nose kalenkaima cell like inside of the nose there is like kalenkaima cell on the upper side so you can feel the aroma from there right and then there are more things actually so if i have this when i eat grape i eat the whole thing even with the peel and the seed as well whenever i chew it it feels different the fruit and the peel and the seed feels differently when i chew it so that's Texture, texture, right? So it's not the taste and it's not aroma. And one more thing, if I put the grape on, uh -huh, I can feel the weight of this. It's not really heavy, it's light, but I can still feel. Because something is on your body, any part of body. If it's like heavy enough to feel, then you can feel the weight, the heaviness of it. So that's the weight. We often say it's body, but anyway. But there is great word for the overall which is flavor. flavor it's a beautiful word the flavor the flavor contains the whole thing so taste aroma texture body whole thing is in the flavor so when you eat this one you can describe it in that way mm. so it's sour and sweet and juicy and chewy the peel is chewy and seed is crunchy and the aroma is like grape because it's grape so this whole thing is flavored so with flavor you can describe whole thing it's beautiful water right so when you eat nuts like this it's crunchy and sweet and nutty which is aroma this whole thing is flavor it can go backward as well so when you do like for example blind test you put something in your mouth mm, it has walnut flavor because it has the sweetness and the aroma especially and the texture of walnut when you chew it so it can go backward so when you drink coffee it obviously doesn't have the this much of sweetness in there and crunchiness right it's a liquid so there is no crunchiness but it has the smell it has the aroma of walnut so you can say it 
it has like walnut-like aroma. This walnut-like aroma can be the flavor as well. When you eat something, the aroma is the biggest part of it. To be continued in the next video. Stay tuned, subscribe my channel, and if you like the video, like the video. Thank you for watching. Peace out.